Yo, what's up? I've bought the generator inside because I need to do some more work on it. I'll just show you it's spinning around with the uh, stator spinning, which is uh, most unusual, as I'm sure you all know. That doesn't happen in uh, reality. Well, it may do, but not as far as I know. Just one thing which you might see in the video and which looks poor is on one side of the... When it comes around, you'll see... Let's get it that way. One half of the stator sticks out more than the other. There, that's that's quite far in there. And if we come around the other side, you should be able to see it sticking out noticeably more. So that's either an alignment problem with this. Okay, it doesn't affect it turning and producing power, so what difference it will make, I don't know. But it may simply be because there's uh, a bit of an, uh, what's the word, obstruction where the, I don't know if you can see there's nuts in there joining it together and uh, after I've rewired this which is what I'm going to do tonight I'm going to use the better quality cable and join everything up as, as good as I can just like this one really if it looks like this one then I'm happy uh, so yeah it may either be an alignment problem with these which is easily sorted or it's an alignment problem with this which means what I may have to do is put, i try and show you the pen, put washers just there. See where that plastic bit is? So I may need to put a washer under, under the metal, in between the metal and the plastic, in two places, which will push it down a tiny bit. But the first resort will be checking this. The next job is to order, I haven't had any money, so I haven't ordered the gear wheel yet, but there's going to be a gear wheel going in here, and that will be quite a tricky job, because it will need uh, the bore enlarging to 22mm, which is what this is, and it will also need to have the holes drilled correctly, so it's not obscuring, getting in the way of the chain. The chain will come around the outside of those... Uh, bolts so anyway that's one for the future but tonight all I'm going to concentrate on is try and get this all super cushy piece what I'm going to actually try and do because the wire is quite thick what I'm going to try and do is lay one set of wire virtually around the outside here yeah, one set of uh, wires along the top and one set of wires on the inside yeah, but first I've got a unbolt this and take this bad boy off so that we've got more room to do the dish bosh. This is a real tight fit so I don't expect it to come out without a fight. starting here I'll remove all these and then cut the wires out of the leftover jumpy cables and then we'll be sorted This one here is a coil that I broke, so I have to, I'm basically just going to fix that by joining them together.
Right, that's sorted the four places where the, the three starts of each set of coils are and also sorted out the two spots where there were mistakes. So that's that all done. Bit of a mission, I'll be honest with you, because it was two places that it had to be repaired as well. Well, it didn't have to be repaired, but the, the wires had been chopped and joined together, but it all needed soldering. Now, the soldering is quite tricky, especially with a uh, poor quality soldering iron that it won't have gone all the way through and completely soaked the underside. I know that for a fact, but I don't know if you noticed what I was doing, I was opening up the wire with the Stanley blade, pulling the wire through the centre, wrapping it around, and then if you squeeze it with a pair of pliers like this before you solder it, it just seems to work a lot better. So that's what I ended up doing. Sweet! <laughs>